Hey everybody, I'm Garrett, and these are mobile game reviews from Mob.org. Alright, let's roll. Everybody loves hefty battle robots. At least, all normal people. I do believe that anybody who doesn't like hefty battle robots should have their head examined, because there's something wrong with them. And today, we have a game about just those kinds of robots. Meet Metal Wars, Part 3. And no, I didn't play the previous two. Apart from the fact that there aren't many things cooler than giant robots in this world, this game has one more advantageous feature. It has a plot! It's not for me to say whether it's good or bad, but at least it exists. It's conveyed through dialogues on walkie-talkies during missions, and it looks very... military. Graphics? Not bad. I don't have the heart to say that they're good, though. I'm not comfortable with the not-detailed representations of objects. The trees just appeared right before my face. They prevented me from immersing into the game. But I succeeded at the end and immersed into it. As you can see, the robot is moving very slowly, and it helps you to perceive as a huge, clumsy battle machine. After all, why do I call it a robot anyway? This is a mech. A mechanized exosuit with a man inside controlling it. Okay, here we go. The game begins in a hangar where the mech is standing. Here at the bottom, you can see all its characteristics, from armor to the number of weapon slots and models of weapons installed in these slots. You can also spend money earned from completing missions to upgrade the mech and equip it with new details. This is awesome! All right, so you've done that. When you finish your business in the hangar, you can safely go to battle. All the missions begin with intros, where a helicopter lands you and your partner in the area where you're gonna fight. You can't skip the intro, but you can wind it forward by pressing the corresponding button. Controls. You move with the joystick on your left, you shoot with buttons on your right. Standard and easy peasy, just like you can see. You can rotate the gun sight by swiping at the free space on the screen. By the way, the mech turns his head very slowly, so you gotta take that into consideration. When you fire, your weapon will begin to overheat, so you gotta keep an eye on it. Otherwise, you risk facing the enemy with failed guns. And by face the enemy, I mean stand there under a storm of bullets like a fool while you wait for the weapon to cool down. Oh, by the way, the mech can fly. Well, it's not real flight, but he uses jet thrust and jumps really well. On the other hand, the jet thrust ends very fast. What can I say to sum it up? Well, these are damn huge robots with people inside them who kill each other using huge guns. If the graphics and effects were a little cooler, the game could be perfect. But even without them, the game is good quality, and I liked it. That's all for today. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you liked the video. This was Garrett and Reviews from Mob.org. See you soon.